We'll wait just a little bit and see who might pop on this Sunday evening. It is Mother's Day, so you guys might be busy with family and watch the replay of this video. But we're going to be using some new product. Hi, Jeanette. Good evening. We had a very busy day today. It was my grandson's birthday and um, and Mother's Day, so we all got together over at my daughter's house, just family, and uh, we celebrated both, so that was fun. So tonight, we are going to play with new product. Hi, Glenda. Hi, Diana. So happy Mother's Day to everyone. Whether you have fur babies or babies or whatever, hello to everyone and happy Mother's Day. Hi, Connie. Hi, Sue. And Vicki, happy Mother's Day. Savings Maker, happy Mother's Day to you. We did. We had fun today. Yes. Um, you know, th there's just sometimes when you just got to... Hi, Gloria. Hi, Lily. We just got to walk away from everything. And we had cake and pizza. And um, my grandson rode his four-wheeler. It's a little electric one. And then my son-in-law got on there with the baby. Hi, Carol. And the baby held on. And he was having the time. I love to watch his little baby hair blow in the breeze. I swear, these grandchildren, they will just steal your heart. So, I, you know, I mean, they're mine. So, yeah. So, happy Mother's Day to everyone. I'm so glad you guys could hang out with me a little bit tonight. We're going to use new product. I am so thrilled with this sunflower, okay? Like, I'm crazy about this sunflower. Hi, Janet. I'm absolutely crazy about this sunflower. We're going to talk about it in a minute, and I'll show you one that I boo-booed at first. And, and we'll talk about that one too. But okay, hi Gloria. So these are the free card kits for this month. And then with this one, the DSP will change every time you place an order. Okay, so um, you know, if you place two or three orders, you will probably get different, um, hi Helen, card, uh, you know, a card front. I know, it's been a great day. And then this one, of course, will stay constant. But um, all of the paper will match perfectly well because we have a black background there. So these are the free ones for this month. My downlines, my paper pumpkin, and my, um, and my customers get that. And then my downlines are going to get a half a sheet of um, pink gems. These are retiring. Hi, Linda. So I thought that these were fun. Um, and so they'll get a half a sheet of that this month. The, um, my girls on my team, they get a little gift from me every month. It might be um, rhinestones. It might be this. But now next month, I've already got it picked out. And um, so it's going to be a little bit bigger than what we normally do. So because if, if good things happen to me, I always pass it down. Hi, Linda. I know, right? So our sunflower is not your favorite, okay? And this right here, I paired this with that other DSP. Now, here's my Happy Crafting Card Kit for this month. Now, what this is, is this is a $25 charge for this class. You get an exclusive video to your email. You get two of each design to make with envelopes. So you get eight cards. So that's one. There's two. Let me show you. And the insides of these, always these have inserts. <clears throat> and then here's this one. Even though I use the bees, I use the outside like it wasn't. Um, oh, you're so you're so nice, Jeanette. Jeanette, I can't I can't have this business without you guys. So when good things come this way, then good things come your way. Then this right here, and then this one. I loved making this one. Look at the inside of that with those flowers. I love that. Took my sister to pick sunflowers for Mother's Day. Oh, great. 
Oh my goodness. I know, right? So sunflowers are totally trending, if you ask me. So I just love this one too. So this is my Happy Crafting Card Kit class. They change every month. This month, it is a tribute to everything that I, most things that I loved that are retiring. A lot of um, embossing folders and um, papers and that kind of thing. And like this embossing folder, you can't even get it anymore. So that's what this is. So you just email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com. And hi, Laura. Hi, Susan. And I will send you either a PayPal invoice. I take a personal check or a money order. The personal check has to clear the bank. And then I will send you your kit and your video. Oh, you're so nice, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Oh, my goodness. Can you just die? I just love that sunflower. Okay, let's do the giveaway. So last week, we made this adorable belt buckle card, right? That was fun. I just had so much fun with that. And it's not, it's not hard at all. Hi, Susan. And um, so we have this card and then some goodies to start to craft with in here. And so that's the giveaway for this evening. And here we go. Mix them up really good. And let's see who we've got. Gloria Robertson, right here. So Gloria, I will be sending this to you. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching my Sunday lives. I appreciate it. Now, oh my goodness, this card. Hello, Esther. Oh, great. I'm so glad you made that card, Connie. Esther, I believe you're new to my um, Facebook Live on Sunday. Happy Mother's Day and nice to see you. I don't know if you've just, if this might, you might watch me, but then this might be the first time you commented. So thank you for being with me. Hi, Diana. Yay, Gloria. Yay. Okay, so let's first look at this stamp set. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, this is gorgeous. This little one's gorgeous too. It's red rubber. Okay, uh, so it's cling, and it, I love this, thanks a bunch. I love that right there where that comes into that B. I love that. So, thank you so much. Oh, Susan, I so, I appreciate that. Um, I, You know, sometimes I get in here, guys, I'm stuck. I got to admit it. I mean, I get like, wow, I've got like, I can't create anything, you know. So, but I, you know. Luckily, oh, you watch me on replay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's look at these dies. Now, I'm not allowed, I don't even have a catalog yet, okay? Uh, so, um, so yeah, I'm not, I can show you all the product and I can open the product and work with it and everything, but I'm not allowed to show the inside of the catalog, which is fantastic because I don't even have one. So, <laughs> so I believe it'll come next week, honest. And I think um, that's the other thing. If you guys have ordered from me in the past six months or you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber of mine, I will be mailing your catalogs out from here, okay? Um, so he look at this huge die, okay? This one right here is what cuts out the, um, this right here, okay? That's what this cuts out. And oh my goodness, I, you got both bundles as a demo, yes. Yeah, I know, I haven't worked with the jar yet because that's gonna be, yeah, I, I need to work with that a little bit before I get on camera and dive in, yeah. And you have your catalog. Oh, yeah, and you didn't order. Okay, Gloria, you've got your catalog. That's nice. So these are fun. And I fell in love with this right here. And these are huge. And then this is this is to cut out the flower. Now, to tell you the truth, I really wanted to cut that out and put it together with you guys. Let me grab um, some cardstock right here. What do I have there? Um, early espresso. Because I wanted to show you. Sorry. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to line these up. Okay, so let's say three and a half. If I cut a piece at three and a half, we would have plenty of room there to cut. Okay, now <clears throat> let's move all of this out of the way. Let me get these out and bring that over. Um, I've already done this to the card. So first let's go over some measurements. I know, right? I, the sunflowers are just, they're, 
to die for, to die for. And I love these things. I left them loose, this little greenery right here. And it really added some nice dimension to the card. Okay, so the base of the card is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So it's gonna open like this. I, because the flower is so big with this first one that I made, I wanted to have like more area, okay, to work with, more of a flat palette to work with. Okay, so then this is early espresso and I ran this through that new embossing folder in the, uh, it's in another set. Tasteful Textures 3D Embossing Folder. That's this one. Okay, so let's look at this kind of up close. Oh, that's that's a good shot of it. Okay, so this uh, would cut out the flower. Um, oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, Susan, that too would look great. That too would be great. Um, so here, okay, on this texture, as you can see, it's like um, graduated. So if I turned it like this, it's like heavier up here and less down here, okay? Or less up here and more here. Well, I want it like this and I think it looks great. I kind of compare this to the Subtles because um, it's very, very light, but it gives that paper a little something instead of just being flat, okay? Like this one. All right, so this, let's go ahead and glue this down while we have it. I'm looking to see if one side is more than the other. Yeah, that's good. That's all right. Uh, you know, it's new product, so I just kind of have to learn it. <clears throat> nice, nice. So this goes here, just like that. And this piece um, is five and a quarter by four. You could cut the flower out of this paper. Yes, most definitely. Yes, it is a nice texture. I agree. I agree. It's it, it's a subtle little texture. I like that. I really do. So that opens like that. Okay. Now let's bring this in and do a little stamping on the inside. Know that you're loved in early espresso. Right in the center. Yay. And then our leaves in pear pizzazz. And so you all are jumping up and down going, my gosh, she got it straight the first time. Okay. And, <laughs> and yeah, and didn't have to flip it. All right. Okay. Now we're going to put our leaves and I'm just going to kind of cradle this one in the corner and then up here. And then let me get my envelope here. Cause that's what I'm just going to do on the outside or just those leaves. Oh, you could cut the flower out of the embossed paper. I hear you. Yes. Good idea. That's a fantastic idea. You know, there's a lot um, that you're going to see me do with this set because you can't help but want to do with this set. Okay, so inside our um, early espresso is five by three and three quarter and then regular whisper white four and three quarter by three and a half. And we're going to attach this now to the inside of the card. We'll put this here and we'll get a nice border. Cute. And now this goes on the inside of the card. Bring this right here. And in here. Ooh, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Mm. Love pear pizzazz with early espresso. I like that look. Okay. Now, this piece is um, uh, from the In Good Taste designer series paper. That's this paper right here. That's like, it's real um, farmhouse looking, wood-like. I, I showed this when I um, 
when I got it. I love, I absolutely love this paper. There's a lot of really good wood uh, paper look like that, you know, barn looking. So this piece is five and a quarter by two. I believe it's by two. That looks like two inches, yes. Okay, so five and a quarter by two, and this goes down. Um, actually, no, this does not go down first. First, what we want to do is bring in our rectangle stitched framelit. This one um, is one of the smaller ones. The rec this is a rectangle stitched. And we want to stamp, thanks a bunch, in early espresso. In the center of this. Beautiful. Okay, now this now, we want to apply this to the card first because I just want this little bit of a border around my stitching of the early espresso. So this needs to go down first, just with some Tombow right here. Okay. Good, now let's move this to the side. Okay, now, <clears throat> right here, we're going to stamp Crush Curry because we don't have our in colors yet, okay? This act, if I was doing this with the new in colors, I would be stamping it with the bumblebee, okay? So we're going to take this gorgeous sunflower. This is on an E block, okay? Or you could use your Stamparatus. I did fine with the block yesterday when I was designing this card, so I'm going to do it again. Actually, what I like to do is when one is big like this, I turn it upside down and just ink that way, okay? Make sure you've got good coverage. Look at it get a little shiny there, okay? And then stamp. Okay. Gorgeous. Oh, oh my goodness. The, um, the, uh, detail. Let me bring this up here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now the thing about this is, is that you, we want to cut it out. Well, you know that there's a lot of, a lot of little things going on here. So yesterday I saw these three like, um, sunflower petals or whatever you want to call them going kind of to the right. So I, I turned my flower until I found those, I felt like those were predominant. And I just kind of tried, there it is, right there, okay? See what I'm saying here? There's three kind of, um, they almost to me look like shark fins, okay? <laughs> of the sunflowers. As you can see, none other do that. None other curl like that, almost looking like a wave, okay? So I would then take this and a little piece of washi tape right there, okay? Now let me cut this out real quick over here. And let me show you Go real slow with that so I don't mar the paper. That's perfect. Okay, so see how these three right here just kind of curve. There's almost a fourth one there, okay? They're just kind of curving to the right just a little bit. And um, that's how I lined that up. Okay, now what you want to do then is we want, we're going to cut this out. Now, this is going to take me a couple of passes through. So hang on just a second. Okay, and, um, okay, just hang, let me get this through the big shot over here. And when I have something that I really want to cut, and I want it to cut deep, I pass it through, like back and forth, three and four times. Actually, did the six. <laughs> three up and three down. No big deal. Okay. Just to be sure that it cuts. Let me bring my plate over. That it cuts all the way through. Okay. 
when, because they're intricate. Now I just take my pokey tool and I'll lift and watch how easy. It just takes you all of three seconds more to run that through that big shot just a couple more times. And here we go. And these are just gonna pop. Like they're just falling right out. Isn't that wonderful? Just like that. Hi, Lynn. Let's see this. Okay, this is one of the things I really like about Stampin' Up! Dies, the way it gives you where to lie. Yeah, where they line up. Yes, it's almost like, okay, it, you know, they give you a little pattern to line it up. Now, uh, you could use your brush or the pokey tool, whichever. I happen to find, um, why is it? I don't know, maybe some of you do. Some of you probably hate poking these things out. I find it extremely relaxing. I don't know why. I was like, why do I like doing this? I don't I don't know why I like doing this. Even on the ornate bundle, I'm like, ooh, things to poke out? Yeah. I don't <laughs> That's, so <clears throat> my dad told me that when he was a kitty, anything perforated he liked to tear. Maybe it's this is hereditary, right? Like the pinky thing, right? We talked about that the other day. <laughs> so, okay. So Here's what I wanted to show you with this. See all the little things that I poked out? Good, right? The first one I did, I boo-booed, although I guess maybe it's not a boo-boo. These I did not poke out, okay? And I went, oh, oh, I should have poked them out, right? So here, you've got a flower like this or a flower like that. I don't know, maybe either or, right? I kind of liked them poked out. I know, right, Lynn? It's like bubble wrap, okay? Oh, please, if I get bubble wrap, I have to twist it. I must. It it yells at me. It, so anyway, so yes. So, you know, I guess you could do this either which way that you like. But now, what then you would do, now you want to line this up. Again, there's our little three shark fins. So here, you want to kind of find them, and they're right here. One, two, three. See them? Right there. One, two, three, and then there's that little one. Okay, so that's how, and then that lines up perfectly. As soon as you find these three up here, you will line it up, I promise. You will line it right there it is. Perfect. So it's the three little like shark fins on the top. Okay, so then what I did is I just, Just the middle, no, nowhere else. Oh, I lost my fins. Okay, here we go. And now I'm gonna make sure that I'm over them. No, nope, right here, okay. And then I'm going to apply this. And really, I'm not looking at any other part of the flower. I am lining these up up here because then I know I'm good. And there's our flower, and wow, I love that dimension with this. Okay. So I wanted to show you how to make that with that set. And um, so, oh, the giveaway for tonight. What's the giveaway for tonight going to be? It'll definitely be this card. Oh, let's do, ooh, I've got these things. I'm going to set, let's do in this giveaway, I'll give you one of each wood element. We've got to do new product, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, for sure, Susan, yeah. You know, because um, you can get really frustrated. It's like, well, this doesn't go here and you're turning it and everything. So yes, let me do, let me do these little elements, these little wood elements here. And I wonder why the whole middle is not dark, like full of seeds. Aha, very good question, Laura, because you can do it two ways. This one right here. Okay, like like it shows. Oh, oh wait, I'm not there. Uh, where'd I put them? I have the case. Oh, here, okay. Right here, you can make a center, and it has seeds. Hey, Nancy, you are fine. You are just fine, no problem. So see you there, right there is, so you could like do this in early espresso. Let's just do it. I don't have that one off of there yet. Let's do that and check it out, right? 
Let's check that out. Okay. And we'll just run that right through here. And here that is. So here's this, and it's got the holes, like there's seeds, and then that would fit right in here. Yep. So if you wanted it brown or green or any other color, you know, you might make a, um, what this, uh, that new color, that new blue color, midnight something or other. I'm not familiar with the colors yet, okay? But what if we made a blue one? You know, and did like a white top right here and then made this blue. I mean, you know, with crafting, it doesn't have to be what it is. You can make it any color you want. But that's how that goes. So that's kind of fun. I love this set. Okay, so let's see. Back to the giveaway. We're going to do that card. We're going to do wood elements. And let's, oh, definitely. Let's do um, 12 inches, okay, of each color. Okay, so I'll peel off 12 inches of each. Look how beautiful that cinnamon and that bumblebee look together. So I'll peel off 12 inches of this color, and that's what we'll do for the giveaway for next week, okay? That, the wood elements, and the car. Beautiful. Okay. So, now back to this. Hi, Donna. Now, this, so this was um, two by five and a quarter, and now we're going to place this up here because now we have our thanks a bunch here in the place that we want it, okay? <clears throat> oh, thank you, Helen. Yeah, we got to do some good new product here, right? That is just fun for next week. And the way you get your name, um, thank you, Gloria. And thank you, both Glorias. I have a Gloria W and a Gloria R. Thank you, both of you. And so this will go here in the center of the card and just allow your border around your thanks a bunch. Just like that. Yes, the cinnamon and bumblebee do remind us of sunflowers, most definitely. Definitely. So, okay, so this is gorgeous. Oh, I just love this. Oh, hey, Janie, how you doing from Michigan? How is it in Michigan? Now we're gonna take this flower, flip it over. We're gonna get some, um, let me close my ink before I have, cause you guys know me, I could have a sleeve disaster, a finger disaster, the whole hand, something could go into that ink, right? Okay, get that out of the way. All right, now from here, dimensionals. Now I want my dimensionals in just a little bit. And we only need four of them. Actually, I'm gonna do five. I'm gonna put one in the middle, okay, just for stability. But I want them in a little bit because I'll show you why. Just a second. Hi from Michigan too. It's cold and rainy. Oh my goodness. Okay. We had we started off very cold this morning, but then this afternoon it got very pretty. So that's nice. I'm ready for such good weather. We had snow too here this weekend. Craziness in May. So I'm going to put this sunflower, let's see, okay. So here's the thing. This card right here, I had to move these because my dimensional is in the way, okay? So I said when I looked at this one, I was gonna look at where I had a space and I want that to be like right up here. Yes, oh my goodness. Cold and rainy and I want my sunflower right there. I want it to overlap on my thanks a bunch a little bit. I want my wood element right here of my paper showing just a little bit. Now I already stamped and cut out these flowers and we're going to use some glue dots. First we're going to put them together with glue dots and just let them go one one way, one the other, it doesn't matter but you need two green ones together. Okay, let's just say like that. Now, we're going to stick these underneath here. You have to make sure when you're doing something like this, when you put them in before you press down, make sure with your finger that your um, leaf is not off of um, the card because then it doesn't go in the envelope good, okay? 
So now that we have these two together, I want a glue dot on the outside, just like that. I'm going to attach one of my greenery right here into that glue dot and let that stick up. I'm going to attach now another glue dot to the outside of the greenery. And now I'm going to stick this entire thing under here and hope and pray that my greenery is down low enough. It might not be, I might have to adjust that. I don't think it is, okay. So let's go ahead and put this down a little lower, no big deal, <clears throat> just like that. And my glue dot is already stuck under there, it already stuck to the paper. So let's go ahead and thread this through nicely. Okay, we're gonna push it in. I'm gonna spread that out. I'm not off of the, of the card and I'm gonna push it. And now, see, it's attached to the back of this. It's attached right to the back of that. So cute. Okay, let's do that again. <clears throat> right here, a glue dot on the outside, our greenery, and I'm gonna put it low, like right there, okay? And now a glue dot on the outside. And now we're going to sneak this up under here and get that right. Oh, I like the way that's kind of curling over that way. I like that, okay, push. Perfect. It's perfect. However that it, you know, and they're free flowing. I love that. Now, if you wanted to, and you were afraid of all of this movement here, which I'm not, I think it's great. Um, you could like secure these down with some glue dots on the back of them, but I happen to like the dimension of it. And now we're going to use our um, in color enamel dots right here. And I will use the bumblebee color. And I'm just going to put three of them up here. I love these because they're flat. They're more flat than a rhinestone, and I just love these colors. Right there. That is our card. Oh my goodness. That was that is fun. This is a fun set, guys. If you are not a demonstrator and would like to become a demonstrator, I'd love to have you join my team. So for $90, $99, you get to pick $125 worth of product and you get free shipping. I've, I, you could go over the $125 worth of product, but you get that. Thank you. So here are our cards for this week. If you are a demonstrator, I hope if you have this um, set that you will try this, um, this card because this came out really pretty. I love that little strip of wood behind there. Really made that uh, sunflower. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That really, that strip of wood really made that sunflower kind of barn-like, farm-like, whatever you want to call it, uh, looking. So I just love that. And um, yeah, wow. Wow, I really love these sunflowers. This was, um, can't wait for my stuff to come. How long did, well, now I got, okay. Laura, I got a little crazy and I next day aired it. I did. I paid for it. I did. And so... I don't know. Yeah, I had to have new product. So I next day aired it. Um, yeah, and um, I, got, I was so excited. I was just so excited. Now, I've placed another order, but I have not next day aired that. Um, actually, I placed another couple of orders, and I've not next day aired them because all of a sudden I was like, well, you know, I think I got enough money and I could get this. So I went ahead and ordered it. And then, and then all of a sudden I realized I was running out of um, black card stock. And I was like, oh, okay, well, what else can I order from, you know, to pre-order with this? So boom, another order went in. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> so, yeah, but I have to admit my first one that I did on camera. Yeah, I did pay the next day, Eric. So I just had, I had to have it, so, <laughs> right? The chicken wire paper would look awesome with this. Yes, yes, it would. You know, at one time, we had a set that had like chicken wire that you could cut behind it, or we had some chicken wire. It was something like that. And um, what is the wood paper? Uh, I, I think chicken wire would look great. The wood paper, um, Laura, comes from 
in good taste. That comes from in good taste, which pairs with the tasteful touches. Pairs with this, and then there's a die set with this that ha that's all um, like labels and that kind of thing. Bundle or series is the paper in that you're using. Yes, Gloria, it is in, in good taste. The paper is from in good taste. And you can pre-order this. That's all you saved out to lunch. <laughs> yeah, Laura. Yeah. Yes, we had some that retired, right, Carol? Didn't we have some chicken wire or something like that that retired? But I agree. I think some chicken wire would look great behind this. Oh, please, Jeanette. Yes, thank you. Try this. I mean, it's not a difficult card. And um, yeah, I love the greenery with it. But I, I like this being on top more than I like it being on the side. But like, if you were to get this card, you would be like, oh, that's fantastic. You wouldn't look at it and go, oh, that should be there. You know, I mean, so, but it's just, you know, from the eye of a designer that, right, Laura, um, you know, you just kind of look at it and go, okay, well, my balance needs to be, you know, here. See, because to me, this is balanced. Okay. And to me, this has balanced more toward the bottom of the card, if that makes sense. You know, like we have sentiment here, we have greenery, we have balance, you know, like we have like heavy weight of this card is toward the bottom where the weight of this card is distributed more evenly. So that, you know, but that's my eye. So, <laughs> but either or, I think it's great. <laughs> so yes, Lynn, that's right. The chicken wire was a while ago, but don't you think like with these papers and the, um, the sunflowers and I cannot wait to play with the jar thing, okay? It was a four by five piece. Oh, Linda, you're so sweet. Um, I remember trying to get some and never could. Only pay, yeah, uh-huh. Yes, yes, Carol, you're right. It was, they were like um, sheets of it. And it was like a four by five, almost like you could put it on the front of a card. I do remember that. But yeah, so here we are. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And um, thank you, Janet. And uh, they just come out, you know, the product is so wonderful to play with. It is just absolutely awesome. Uh, the I'm very excited about this new catalog. I have to admit, um, like the one that we're about to retire, when it first came out, it was not my fave. I will say that. Um, so this now, wow, I'm like, wow, there's a bunch of stuff in it that I really have on a list that I'd really like to order when June 3rd comes. So thank you so much. Yes, 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 Carol, you're exactly right. You still have some, Janie. Very good. See, it's so wonderful to save things like that, you know, because you never know. It might not ever come back again. Um, and, you know, me, as a, because I do this as a business, I don't keep it, um, you know, because what's the sense of me using it if, you know, I can't really sell it? So, um, yeah, but... That's, that's kind of, sometimes that's kind of a downside to making the business out of it because I just look and go, eh, you know. So, <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Carol. I appreciate you. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I try like when I'm doing things like that to be like, oh, okay, wait, I got to tell them about this. Okay, wait, I got to tell them about that. You know, if I run into anything. Oh, and that's another thing, guys. Please, if ever you get a kit from me and it is missing something, just email me. I will drop it in the um, in the mail to you, okay? Because, um, you know, 50 kits a month, 50 to 60 kits a month go out of this little crafting corner. And um, yeah, it can happen. We're human. <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, please, you guys, um, stay safe. Can't you keep it for your... Yes, I could, Glory, keep it for my own personal stash. But you know what? I don't use it then. I don't because new stuff is coming out. And by the time I make everything that has to get designed and made and my thank you cards for the month and this and that, I, it's like I don't get around to using my stuff. I I even felt like I didn't get around to using some things that I wanted to get with the occasions catalog, you know, so... <laughs> I know, right? But uh, now I will say this much with the occasions catalog. Good evening, Marie. Um, I was um, I was still working, so maybe that feeling now is going to go away because I'm home, you know. So that's 
that might help. I pre-ordered the spindle suite for my daughter's wedding in August. Oh, really? Oh, you have a very wonderful first name. Praline? Is it is it Fraline? That's a pretty first name. I love that. My other daughter's name is Tavia. She's named after my uncle Otavio. And we I we'd call him Uncle Tave, T-A-V-E. I dropped the E and added I-A to make it feminine, and that's how that kid got her name. So <laughs> So yeah, but I love um I love different names. And so yours is very pretty. But um yeah. So, I know, right? It's pronounced Fuli. Fuline. Oh, that's beautiful. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. From the Bambi movie. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I can't watch that movie. I cry. I can't watch any movies where the animal dies, okay? I can watch Saving Private Ryan and never shed a tear, okay? You kill an animal, and I'm like, turn it. I can't watch it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, short you. Okay, short you, but close it up. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, me too. Right, Kelly? I know, right? Kill an animal. And I'm like, no, I will not watch this movie. And like, they come out with all of these movies where like they have the dog in it, you know, and the dog rescues and gets into these things and everything. I don't like the movie. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> and I know, right? And I mean, I don't know. My grandson and I were watching How to Train Your Dragon, which is... um. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. You are fine, Marie. Um, but we were watching How to Train Your Dragon. It's a cartoon, okay? I thought the dragon died. I mean, I had tears in my eyes. I know, even animated, right? I had tears in my eyes. My grandson looks at me and goes, no, Grandma, it's okay. The dragon's going to be okay. <laughs> I about couldn't watch it with him. I was like, I can't do this. So I know, right? Even animated, I can't handle it. I can't. I cried when he lost his leg. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you guys are like me that way because um, I just, I can't help it. I cannot. I would take in an elephant if it would fit through the front door, okay? If it, you know, I feel so bad when I see these things like for abused animals, it hurts my heart something fierce. I mean, I'm like, oh my gosh, that poor innocent creature never asked for any of that. You know, I, it just, uh, yeah, it really pulls at my heartstrings, that kind of thing. So, and I'm, I'm glad you guys are that way too. So, well, I hope you guys will go again, go ahead and try. <coughs> L's are my favorite. Yes. Um, please try this card if you have this set. If you don't, put it on your list for um, June 3rd. It is a great set. As a child, I cried when the horses would fall in westerns. Yeah. <laughs> Janet, I totally understand. Okay. I totally get it. Right. It's like I said, I could be watching Saving Private Ryan. People are dying everywhere. You know, and I'm like, Oh, is the horse okay? You know, it's pitiful. It really is, but I just, I can't. I just love love all animals. And yeah, I don't like animal cruelty. So yeah, I know. I just have a heart for them. So, well, you guys, on please go to your craft room maybe this week and um, try this. I, um, I have an extremely busy week this week. And so hopefully... Everything will go as planned the nights before, and I will get my Tuesday on YouTube Live at 10 a.m., Wednesday, 10 a.m., on Facebook Live, okay? So, um, it's a really busy week. I have a lot of work being done at this house, So, uh, but I, I think I've worked everything out around my times. I think we'll be okay. If not, of course, I'll post something and maybe put something up later, but um, know that everything's fine. I've just got a lot of things going on here, but I hope that I can still just stay on schedule this next week. So um, thanks again for everyone for watching. Thank you for all of your happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Please stay safe. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week live on YouTube, live on Facebook. And please have a very happy crafting week.